Hi right, guys, KB Fifth Gaming here, and welcome back to FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Journey to Division One. And this is episode 14 of the Division One series so far, and we're still hanging it out in Division Seven at the moment. Straight into the episode, we buy two contracts, two gold 13 plus contracts, each for 250 coins. There. <laughs> As we move on to the squad, we see that the two players that need the contracts are Marco Van Ginkle and second is Matt Jarvis. So we're giving them the contracts here just now. As we do that, we have a look and I think we're ready to move on to our first game of the episode. Hopefully we can secure promotion with the first win here. First game, dearie me, would you look at that, Pedicek, Company, Kabul, Louise, Walcott, Fellaini, Toure, William, Aguero, Suarez and Eto. This could be a nightmare to play, or it could be a walk in the park, let's have a look. Jarvis still on goal, Jarvis almost scores, good shot, but Pedicek does keep that ball out. Good save by Check there. Great shot by Jarvis. Jarvis whips it in from the corner to find Cahill, but Cahill can't quite get there. Moving on here, Jarvis again on the ball, creating some space for him and the team. Eventually gets the ball off to Van Ginkel, and Van Ginkel's allowed space to cross it in and finds Abu Diaby in the box, and Diaby. Gets the first goal of the game with a good header in the 14th minute there. Great shot by Diaby. And we are now up 1-0. Straight into this back off since we've scored the game. Barini to Suarez. But Suarez can't finish it there. Unlucky. And on the rebound, Barini gets saved. Jarvis finds Suarez one on one with the keeper. And Suarez over the net. He hasn't had a he hasn't been in good form recently, Luis Suarez. Bit disappointing of late, but hopefully he'll get back in the form that he was at the start of the game and he gets a ball through to Barini. But check saves there. Ball falls out to Jarvis. But Jarvis just wide of the post there. Suarez on the ball just for half time, cuts in with a roulette. Van Ginkle over the net as well, unfortunately. Straight over the top of the bar. Mistake by Czech finds Barini. Barini finds a defender. Barini finds keeper. Suarez finds keeper. And the rebound finds Van Ginkle, but they clear with Eto here, and it is half time. And at half time, we are in charge of the game at 1 0. And TRB getting the goal in the 14th minute there from a headed effort from a Marco Nenginko cross. You see a replay of the goal just here now. And we have had complete demolition of our opponent. 13 shots, 8 on target, with 58% possession to his no shots at all. Completely owning him. Moving to the second half. Bad clearance by Minile finds Eto and Eto 1 on 1 misses as Mignolet keeps that ball out. Great save by Mignolet there. From the corner, William whips it in. Double Louis head is over. Lucky for us there. Another corner, it is deflected and it finds Kabul. But Mignolet can save. Mignolet throws the ball out but nothing comes of it as Van Ginkel finds himself on the ball. Good ball through to Suarez, one touch, two touch goal. Left footed effort by Luis Suarez. Put the ball into the back of the net there. Great goal by Luis Suarez. And he has got a goal for himself here, so that's good to see. Then we're up 2 0 now, and look, to promotion is almost definitely secured for us. Barini, pass Kabul there. Barini puts in Monreal, and Monreal. Not the greatest of finishing, and he puts that ball just wide there, unfortunately for him. And in the 90th minute, our opponent 
does decide to rage quit. I mean, what's the point of doing that in the 90th minute? You hold on for a couple more seconds and the game's over. I don't see what the point of that is. Nevertheless, Marco Van Ginkel 9.2 man in the match. 556 coins for the victory there. 18 shots, 10 on target. 57% of possession. 7 shots, 5 on target for him. Pass accuracy not so good for both of us. But we do get 3 more points and we secure promotion. We need 2, po two more points from 4 games remaining to secure the division title. Can we do it in this game? We come up against another BPR team with Petacek, Carl Walker, Vincent Company, Louise, Clichy, Paulinho, Fernandinho, Cazola, Nazri, Negredo, and Jovatic with Nazri and Czech attribute cards on both of them. This may be a bit tough. And not long, he's drawn goal and <laughs> Mindelay there just throws himself. At Jovetic, I think it was Jovetic, yep. Jovetic just throws his body at him. Pretty bad. Lucky he didn't get sent off there. And they have a very, very dangerous free kick here. Nazri takes it. But Mignolet like, gets down and puts a ball out. Great save by Mignolet like, there. And he's been a good keeper for us, Mignolet. Like. Never tried him before buying him for this series. And he's got to say he's been exactly... Just fantastic, superb, as he clears the ball here. And Barini finds Marco Van Ginkel. Van Ginkel sends a good ball through to Jarvis, and Jarvis gets through the defence and puts it in the back of the net. And from being on the defence for a while, we get the first goal of the game, 17 minutes gone, number 8, Matty Jarvis. Good control from that through ball. Hits the back of the defender, gets the ball through the two defenders and puts it past Petacek to lead us 1-0 this game. Barini doesn't waste any time as he wants to get another goal here. Finds Suarez. Suarez to Jarvis, the goal scorer, back to Suarez, but... Suarez can't get to it, but... David Luiz sure can, and David Luiz thinks he's in the mood for scoring some own goals, and we are up 2-0 now. Negredo finds Jovetic in some space. Jovetic hold off the defender. And literally just before halftime, he puts it past Mendele into the far corner of the net. And he gets a goal back for himself here. Really should have held him out there. Just hold off the defender, I think that was Cahill. Holds him off. Lucky it was nothing and gets a goal back. And Suarez wants to get another goal here as he skills his way through, takes a shot. But straight over the top of the bar. And that does take us to half time. We are in front thanks to Jarvis. David Luiz getting an own goal. And Jovetic getting a goal back for him in the 45th minute. Half-time stats, 8 shots through in target to his 3 shots through in target, 56% possession or 44% possession. Pass accuracy, okay, I suppose it's 76%. Straight into second half, Van Ginkel finds Suarez in the wing with a great through ball. Suarez with a fake shot, another fake shot. Suarez and through on goal, not the greatest of crosses. Finds Diaby, not the greatest of shots, goes wide. Santi Cazola finds Jovetic in some space. Mignolet. Just, I don't really know, they just threw himself down on the ground and keeps the ball out. It's a good thing. Nazari back on the ball. Mignolet again keeps the ball out. Rather, just except for letting that goal in in the first half, Mignolet is having a cracker of a game here. And he punches the ball out again here. Santi Cazola in space finds Jovetic. Jovetic turns, finds Paulinho, and Paulinho cuts the ball across Santi Cazola to put it in to an open net in the 84th minute and he gets another goal back here courtesy of a cutback goal to Santi Cazola easy open goal there it would have been terrible if we missed that terrible for him good for us last attack here surely corner kick in the 90th minute we know what Gary Cahill can do from these but he can't, can't get on the end of that Suarez can though, and Shokan Van Ginkel, but both shots cannot get in the back of the net. 
and we draw the game 2-2. And if we didn't have an, if that was our last game to secure the division title, I wouldn't be very happy. But we do still have three games remaining to secure the division title, and I'm pretty sure now we only need one point. So we only need a draw from three games. Confirmation on that in a second as Jarvis gets him in the match. 448 coins for that victory. 14 shots, 5 on target, 57% possession for us. Completely dominated him. And, yep, confirmation. We only need one more point from three remaining games. A draw will put us through, but a win would be nice to go out as well. We get matched up against our Bundesliga squad here. Adler in goals, Pizcek, Hamus, Subotic, Alaba in defence, Gundogan, Blaschkowski, Elia, Kroos, Huntala, and the dreaded feed of Bama Yang up front. This could be a very, very interesting game. Let's see how it plays out as we are using the Serie A squad for this game. And a mistake by Adler leads the ball to Pjanic, who chips the keeper and puts it into the back of the net. Yeah, in the seventh minute. Terrible, terrible play by him. I have no idea what the hell you think he was doing. Straight to Pjanic, and Pjanic easily disposes of that into the back of the net. 1-0 up after 7 minutes here. Kovacic on the edge of the box, or the edge of the field rather, finds Sao. Sao to Pjanic. Pjanic in some space, fires at home, but can't quite get it in the front door. And the keeper puts it wide for a corner. Pjanic on the corner, finds Adler's fist, who punches that out. Radu on the ball finds Kovacic. Kovacic did a great ball to Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini open space. And Gabbiadini fires straight over the bloody bar. What do you think you're doing, Gabbiadini? Should have really put that one away. Should be 2 0 up. Oh uh, well. Pjanic thinks, yeah, guess what? We should be 2 0 up. So he puts a through ball to Marco Sao. Bit of lag, but Sao open goal. Gabbiadini redeemed himself. Oh wait, no, he doesn't because he chips it straight over the open goal. Bit of blame to myself there. I did have my button on the chip button, unfortunately. My finger on the chip button, rather, unfortunately. But we are in the lead at half time, and that's all that matters. 1 0 up after Pianic's goal in the seventh minute here. Stats at half time 9 shots, 4 on target, 55% possession, 80% pass accuracy, completely in charge here. Straight into the second half, Pianic on the ball, finds Kovacic. Kovacic one touch and curves it into the back of the net. Puts us 2 0 up in the 54th minute. And Mateo Kovacic, a player who's bought for 400 coins, 450 coins, is an absolute steal. I advise you all to go out and buy Kovacic because he's a great centre mid for your Serie A team. Or if you want to put him in the Croatian team, then put him in the Croatian team. But he's an absolute great player and I advise you to buy him. 90th minute, one more opportunity, but Gabbiadini fires over. Going in the line here, he tries to find a bum game in the box, but he can't quite do that as Strootman's on the ball. Strootman, watch his, watch his for a through ball. Straight through to Sao, and Sao capitalises on that and puts it in the back of the net to put us up 3-0. What a ball by Strootman. Also, Strootman, what a great player. Only 500 to 600 coins upgraded as well. Go get him as well. And guess what? My opponent, for the second time in this episode, thought, you know what? We've played 90 minutes of football, and I just think, oh, I can't take a few more seconds of this. I've got to go. He's gapped it. He's out. We get another rage quit victory. Pjanic with the man of the match. 574 coins. 17 shots. 9 on target. 58% of possession. 76 pass accuracy. Unfortunately, that pass accuracy died down a, bit, a little bit in the second half. Pjanic with a 9.0 man of the match rating. And guess what? We win the title. 5,000 coins coming our way as well as promotion to Division 6. And Division 6 will be played, as you see confirmation that we are in Division 6. Division 6 will be started up next episode. And this signifies the end of the episode. We have 8,104 coins, 22 wins, 4 draws, 6 losses, and most of them which are disconnections. Nevertheless, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.